jump on this open beta for uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. We're going to customize our character here. And it looks like they, uh, they did it. It's, looks pretty damn good so far, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go with... <laughs> generic. Alright, generic it is. Uh, oh. That might be it. Got the fury. With the undercut. Oh, some facial hair. Okay. Got some mutton chops. Fuck it. Did a mutton chop. Facial scars. You want to look, make your guy look like he got his ass beat a couple times, but still kicking. Anything else? Okay, here we go. We're starting with disappearance. We're doing it. John, no! John's down. You're a good man. Uh, oh, everybody's got uh, a warm cut. God damn it. Patch that shit up. Uh, That's gonna need some stitches. Hopefully you find your fucking sewing kit. Pass our shit up. Get your, get your, uh, get in where your shin pads, so make sure you get your shin. <laughs> Alright, brother, we good? Alright. 
check the uh, overlay real quick. Just to make sure it's not cutting off anything. Boop, 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 boop. And let's see where the camera is real quick. Oh, good God, I look like shit. <laughs> hey, I just woke up, okay? Whoa. I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> okay. Bump, 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 bump. Oh. See that freaking spin? It's fucking nuts. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, whenever you're like concealed, like in this bush right now, it like the screen like hunkered down and went a little bit black just to let you know that you currently are not being spotted. Like, say a drone goes overhead or something, I'm guessing. That's pretty, it's pretty cool. Okay, just got up some syringes here. Okay, hold RB to open. Select. Okay, cool. Excuse me. I'm surprised there's like no enemies here to like check on the crash site. Wow, that's. I shouldn't be doing this, but this is pretty stupid, but I'm gonna go through it. Because I'm fucking crazy. Stupid meaning I shouldn't have ran through that red light. In real life, that's, that's probably where I get shot right there. I think there's an enemy. Oh, what's prone camo? What? Look at that. I just rolled around in the dirt. Put dirt on my face. Went straight up. Arnold in Predator. Nobody can. That's pretty cool, you can just move the hell out. Damn. What? Should have been a headshot, bro! Totally aimed at this guy's fucking face. And nothing happened. And then he took 20 shots <laughs> with a 45 ACP. No big deal. Yeah, take, rub it off. You're good. Alright, here we go. So they did uh, change a couple things, I've already noticed. Like when you pick up things, they like sparkle with the colors. That's that's one change I've noticed, even though it's not big change, but it's still a nice little touchy effect, I guess. God, my mustache hair keeps tickling my nose. I'm pretty sure it's a weapons case finally and get some kind of good gun. Okay. Tracking. 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 Alright. Let's pick this weapon up. 
Edit and Gunsmith. Pretty sure I shouldn't really have anything. Oh, wait. Did... Oh, okay. I was like, wait, did some of the stuff carry on from the, uh, the first beta? No. What? Face paint? Don't want to be seen here, guys. Left arm tattoo. Well, we only have dead wood, so we're going to pick dead woods. Fury. Nomad. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I actually like that one. It's pretty sick. Kind of cool. Mm. Just weird because you're not. I don't know. I don't like this. I'm like asymmetrical. This one's pretty cool. Fuck okay, it. We're going to do that bad. That's cool. Alright. Okay. Silencer's equipped with this bad boy. Let's check out this crash site. It's like Craig's down. Yeah, no, Craig. <clears throat> I'm gonna be checking my phone a little bit more today uh, on the on the stream, guys. Sorry. I don't want my new iPhone sitting on the porch. <laughs> new phone comes today. Also, guys, uh, October 1st, um, I'm going to be uh, doing the Wolf's Edition unboxing, if you guys are interested. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you guys didn't see, uh, I did put on the uh, Nomad figurine unboxing. So if you guys are into that, uh, the collectibles or whatnot um, that video is on the channel already guys so check it out if you're interested if uh, collectibles aren't your thing well hey cool all right looks like maybe two people are over here I don't even think I have a drone yet so we're gonna just play it cool and scope this shit out and all right so I marked them Man, these guys are talking a lot of shit. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. It makes you want to not be, like, silent and tactical and just rush in because of all the shit they're talking. Okay, so what's this? Let's see. So I got a helmet now. That's not the cool... I mean, I'm sure you eventually, once you rank up, you can get cooler shit. But, uh, I think, uh... Too short for this shit. Yeah, a little sloppy, but tried a different approach than last time. What is this? I'm good. Oh, also, if you guys want to be really stealthy in this game, you can actually, like, pick up the bodies and go, you know, you don't want the body to be seen, which is pretty cool, because... You know when you're taking people out, and you know you gotta move around the base and maneuver and be tactical and take out a couple people at a time, so it eliminates those people, so that you can maneuver your way into the base without you know being detected before reinforcements come. Unless you you know you take out the uh, alarm tower and the power and all that shit. But if you don't feel like doing that, and you just want to go in and take people out one by one. You definitely can, you know, hide them in the bush or, you know, 
use your drone and figure out where their like walking paths are so you can take them out before their friends go to the walking paths and it's like oh well look my friend wasn't dead before and he's right here so also there's crazy ass freaking like droned ass vehicles here and they're like behemoths armored monsters they're pretty crazy they take a while me and my buddy uh, actually took it out with some snipers and uh, some C4 and stuff like that in the uh, closed beta. So that was pretty cool. Do I have? No, I don't have a drone. Looks like there's four dudes coming at me. Are you supposed to search all those? In sectors? <laughs> Alright, so there's two right there. Where the hell do the other two go? Not that it matters, but... You know, one thing I've noticed about the game is, you know, a lot of it's, a lot of it's just waiting sometimes, you know. Okay, I don't want to engage right now, or, oh, hey, it's not my best opportunity, you know. The opportunity will arise to be better or worse, depending on which judgment call you make. So I kind of like that, because it gives the player the overall decision of, hey, <laughs> I'm going to go in now, or hey, I'm going to wait a couple minutes, or I'm going to scope this area out a little bit better just to get an overall feel of everybody's movement so I can make the best decision. It's it's pretty cool. And uh, I did play the shit out of Wildlands, I'm not going to lie. Um, beat it a few times. Um, now, it's really fun with buddies, to be honest. So... If you get a squad and you communicate, I mean, obviously, right now you don't have you don't have the bots, which I understand because I hate to say it, everybody was complaining about no bots, right? But all your friends are dead, dude. They took down the helicopters. It gives that sense of hey, I'm alone out here. I need to be tactical, watch my movement, figure out what's going on by myself. So then I figure out what my overall surrounding is, is, what the danger, what's going on. It's that sense of, I'm in a hot zone, you know? So, everybody's like complaining like, oh hey, I can't do my sink shots, but is that realistic right now? I mean, <laughs> the plane just crashed, I mean, you've seen all the helicopters go down, your buddies are dead. Storm Cloud 1-1, one, one. this is Weaver, come in, over! Well, you have some alive buddies right now. This is Weaver. Come in. Not Over. Long, guys. Probably not for long. Oh, God. No, Weaver! Get him! And remember, Weaver was our buddy in Wildlands, one of our our bot friends. Well, Walker, Dick Face just killed him. What the hell are you doing? Obviously, you see how their gear score a 150. See tutorial, just so you guys can see, because they're they're level 150. Danger, dangerous, and very you know dangerous enemies have been marked by their head. Continue. 
Okay, enemy level, equip new weapons and gear to increase your gear level and overall power. Tracking. My shit's not very high. I just started over again <laughs> for the second beta. So, I don't remember how high you can get it in the beta. If I remember correctly, I got gear score up to 50. Or was it 30 or 40? I forget, but I, I couldn't go up any higher. They capped it out. Um, but still, like, at 150, those guys probably would just wreck the shit out of you. So that gives you another idea of how high the gear scores go. It's a gear score is not your overall rank. It's it's just your gear score. Your ranking is going to be totally different. My friends are getting confused, like, oh, I'm rank 45, and I'm like, no, dude, that's your gear score. It's like, no, you're actually rank like 10 or 12. <laughs> Also, like, you get exhausted, you can, um, set shit up, you can drink water, I'm looking on the mini-map, um, there's, like, three units and closing on my position, I'm trying to get to the yellow marker, I try and be a little bit tactical here, it looks like they're searching around, hopefully I can just, like, crouch through this swamp and they won't see me. See, that, that's another thing. They knew you were going to go towards the yellow dot, right? So the dev set it up to where you're freaking out. You're by yourself. Oh, shit, there's very dangerous enemy around. Walker just killed your best friend. Now there's like six patrols surrounding the area that I need to get to. <laughs> it's pretty cool, but it gives you that sense of, oh, shit. Like, I'm, I'm screwed if I don't like... Be careful. Then you have a ass ton of people chasing after you, and it's just, it's not good. The wolves are a little bit harder to eat, per se. Um, if there's one of those, uh, I forget what it's called, it's like a salia or something. One of, the, one of these drones come overhead. And uh, they spot you, and you're not laying prone at the right Mayday. opportunity. Mayday. They, they like, all of a sudden read? drop in, like, four or five wolves, and then you have to, like, shoot in the this? face, or a you're friend. screwed. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost lead. You can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting the medical treatment. The Red Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Tracking Ghost that through. Over and out. All right, let's get this gear. Let's hit this loot box and get the fuck out of this area. Oh shit! Is there people already on my location? It looks this way. Oh shit! Where are they? Somebody enclosed on my shit. Okay, what is it? Just one, two, three, four. That four guys moving around. My position right now. So they're kind of just, kind of just looking around, maneuvering, making sure they killed all of us. <laughs> Little do they know. Still alive. Okay, there's five of them. I really want that crate. Like right now, I kind of have an opportunity. I could probably take out these two guys on the right, take out these two dudes, and then maybe this guy in the back. Then again, chances are, depending on which ones you shoot first and last, they're gonna run behind cover, create a shit ton of noise. You know what? Maybe just say fuck it, right?
Okay, it wasn't too bad, guys. Um, their movement wasn't the usual movement. I think... Okay, I got a little sniper. I think that it's a little different right now since it's still the beginning. I think uh, their movement isn't as hard or anything like that. Okay, I got a new cap. Okay, we already peeked at here. I don't know if it wants me to pick up something. There's a, uh, a little eye here. Okay, I think that means we already inspected it or something. Okay, I think what we're going to do is equip the sniper. Is it a silent sniper? You can equip one regardless. Oh, we got another patrol. I like how you can do this, like lay in the grass, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, hey. I'm heading. Oh, that's pretty sharp. That's pretty sharp. Okay, it looks like there's a vehicle with a minigun on top. And got three dirt bikes ahead. Looks like a facility to my left. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if everybody watched the trailers and shit, it's like, you see all the drones and stuff, you know, should I be driving around? Should I even drive? I hate to say it. If you don't drive, be most of your gameplay is going to be running to point A to point B because there's miles in between. When I first started the um, closed beta, I was running everywhere, thinking, trying to be tactical and trying not to give away my position and stuff, but at the same time, uh, I found myself just running miles and that was, that was ridiculous. Alright, these guys are like not doing anything, so, being fucking annoying. Okay, there's five again. Do I have a zoom? Oh, okay. So, if I just take this dude out. Take out their friends. One by one. God damn it. Seriously? One shot with the sniper didn't take you out? Stop the madness. No oh, shit. Okay, well, still got used to the, um, not the bullet drop, but the bullet lead, per se, with the sniper. It was really off. I guess it's more realistic, though. I was, been playing uh, Call of Duty, so I don't know. I was getting used to that and Ground War, which is really different. Okay, how do you fucking drive this thing? Okay. Now I'm going to take the bike because you guys seen how far away it was. No, I'm not going to lie. There's another thing. Skell credits in the game, right? Just gonna say those are pretty important. Literally, in case you want to buy guns or do whatever, I would recommend it. Man, that's pretty cool. The uh, you listen to the rain. It actually sounds like it's actually like in real life dropping on your shoulders. I 
I hear something. Okay. <laughs> I was a drone, man. I was getting freaked out as heck. Hate to say it, but I couldn't uh, I couldn't record for you guys or whatnot. Uh, I don't know. Everybody else had the Elgato and stuff, but I wasn't able to record for the uh, closed beta. So I guess for the open beta, I'm allowed to record. So I re doing all this stuff, give you guys some more gameplay, just you know, for all those Ghost Recon uh, lovers, I guess. You know, try something out. Watch other gameplay, even though it's about to be coming out, which is the cool thing. It's literally about to be coming out. So I guess I guess the way they did it, you play the beta for a couple days, and then you wait one day, and then the game should be there if you got like the ultimate edition or whatnot. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this is where you go to the cave, and the cave is pretty cool because that's where you basically, you know. Get all your shit. Or at least start to get your shit. Um, as far as... Oh, I hate when this does this. Uh, gear. So there's like a little teeny base behind a um, waterfall, basically, guys. And uh, you'll see. You'll see. It's, it's well worth it. I think what they added in the game was, was pretty damn cool. Different than Wildlands. Because, you know, we're... We're not a cut, like, we landed here, we got shot down, not everybody wants us here, so it's not like in Bolivia, where we had friends everywhere and all this other shit. And, you know, ammo every single place. Skull credits, 1,000. Okay, I forget. Okay, sometimes... The um, way map disappears, and you gotta figure it out. God damn, I forget. Where is this? Okay, I believe it's under me. If I'm not mistaken, there was like some secret drop, like in the in the flooring or some shit. Am I right? I forget. It's been. <coughs> Okay. Some of the climbing needs to be fixed a little bit though. Not gonna lie. I forget how to get to this one. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there was a... It's like a hole in the ground, but... Um... I've already seen that one. I'm gonna try and go through here. Let's see. Okay, this is it, actually. I think that one's coming up that I was just talking about, where you just drop down. So they have all these little spots where there's like intel or so see like right here there's intel right here investigate pretty much like wildlands you can um whatever's available on there you can pick obviously i only had one thing available so that's what we're doing like our first little thing where's that crate was it up here Okay, gotta climb the ladder, get this cool crate. Okay, MP7, that's a pretty cool gun. truck up ahead of their people. So each like question mark is usually like some kind of drop or something guys. So 
like new weapon or clothing, gear, anything to help your gear score. So I'm not going to go to every single question mark right now only because I don't want to waste my time or your guys' time just showing you guys how to loot. You guys all know how to loot, so. I'm just going to show, I'm, I'm going to get to the uh, little cliff here and I'm going to show you what to expect on that little cliff area, so. Forget, do I, do I have grenades? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh fuck. Well, that was bad. <laughs> well, that was shitty. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Guys, I'm still waking up. Okay, give me a break. Yeah, whatever you suck. Yeah, I'm trying. Alright. Well. Woo! So what we're gonna do is, I mean, I've seen the boxes and stuff. We're, we're passing the loot. Um, we're gonna go up this mountain. We're gonna get behind the waterfall. I'm gonna show you what I was talking about. The nice little retreat area where you can upgrade some cool stuff. You guys are gonna like this. This is a new addition. That like Wildlands didn't have. But you know, it's it's cool in its own unique way. It's something new that they did, you know. You you cross this path of just camouflage netting. Stop right there. You Who got some you? nerd trying to kill you. Invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense. I you didn't you shut up? Just watch how you handle that weapon. Old lady? We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? A cave. That's what we call it. Mm, Get in. Cool. Get out of my way. Fake operators. Okay, I was about to say the screen's black. What's going on? Okay, come on. Load in here. Seriously? Okay. About to say, man, if this isn't gonna fucking load in. Alright, guys, so this is where we are. We reach. Erewhon. This really cool cave, right? You can. What is Buy this stuff place? at the gunsmith. You can talk to other leaders, get missions. It's pretty, pretty sure we get a PvP shit. So we're gonna first talk to this dude. I'm gonna tell you how to do this. We're first talk to this dude right here. Are you boys all right or what? Well, of course he did. Of course he did. We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. At least supplies. they got it right, guys. Mags. Magazines. For all you people you who call them place, clips, man? it is wrong. Look what a clip is on Google. Is it's yep. literally a metal component more, that right? holds bullets like this. Everybody's like, oh yeah, I put a whole clip in them. That, that makes no sense. Clips boys don't, know took out our birds. don't go into your no weapon. Clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Stupid. Stupid. Some troops out there were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with. Now you're dealing with me. Yeah, whatever, old timer. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. 
By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. So this definitely changed, too. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law. So this is kind of interesting. When I played the it. closed beta, this, this, is still this didn't happen. You talked to your two like, comrades, so and then you guys weapons. parted ways. And then exactly you would go off to find Tokyo, her and Jay him, and you guys would talk, you know, We're separately. Skill. So it looks like uh, they're they still... Himself. They're playing around we with the missions, him, but so I guarantee drones are keeping an eye on when silence. release comes, maybe they're going to switch around for a third time. Maybe they made... I'm just not sure why. ...different... Right. Variations of the well, story. That's kind of cool, though. So, for now, there's new stuff wounded. to play. I'm not playing the same yeah. missions, so that's pretty cool. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah. And then come find me. Calm I'll give you down, the guided yeah. tour. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you add yeah on there? God, when I was in Hawaii, man, literally everybody would say, like, ask a question or not ask a question, then add yeah at the end to, like, make it a question. Oh, my God. Just, it kills me. <laughs> All right, guys. So there's the gun uh, shop right there. You can buy uh, guns. There's your PvP ghost uh, war right there. You talk to this guy, your fellow comrade over here. What's up, Battle? I'm pretty sure... I'm not sure if they changed it, but oh. they give you like 30,000 skull credits right off the bat from talking to this guy. This guy gives them to you. Man? Oh, they ch looks like they changed his outfit. Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax. Uh, <clears throat> I'm doing what I can. Yeah. You damn superhero. That's right. Better recognize. <sighs> <laughs> Seriously. Here. <laughs> Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver. Hey, you just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. Go, go on, get. Frag mines unlock flashbang MP grain division lure C4 just got low torch 30,000 skull credits water canteen drone just got unlocked and 10 skill points all right everybody remembers skill points right so basically this is a different system now Oh, excuse me. You decide if you want to be like a panther, which is obviously what it sounds like. Cloak and run, disappear behind, smoke screen. Basically your stealthier, you know, mode, right? This is obviously sniper, armor buster, class technique. High penetration bullet with bonus damage and muscle velocity, which is pretty cool. True grit, recoil reduction, and damage resistant. Kills, heal, and extend duration. Then you have your medic. Uh, heals and revives friendly teammates. So that's pretty cool, considering if you do play with four dudes, or, I mean, just any buddies, whatever. You can pretty much... 
everybody have a class, right? So that you guys can all work together as a team. All right, so look, you can buy and sell stuff, right? So I wouldn't say go too crazy right away because once you log in and rank up, all these items will change again. So, oh wow, they added a lot more weapons this time for this beta. Uh, MP5 is one of my favorite in this game. Vector's pretty cool. Um, 5.7's pretty cool. And I did like ASR. Look, that's pretty much an M4. Um, and then I did like the uh, 50 cal guys. 50 cal was great, especially uh, a lot of people don't know if you have the uh, 50 cal, you can. Uh, oh wow, you can buy this for 75,000. Fucking tank. So you can also refill your. Um, like grenades, flashbang, division lore, mines, syringes, but guys, you can all find that in gameplay. You really don't need to buy it. Um, this is where you get all your upgrades, guys. Um, different side scope. You got like a hybrid right here. Another hybrid. You can switch between two. You got your. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch more scopes, guys. I'm literally releasing so much for obviously the beta. Wow, 50,000 for this guy right now? He was 10,000 last time. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, well, you got your face paints, you got cosmetics, you got tattoos, you got some different tops, you got patches, you got weapon uh, paints, you got different knives. Oh, those are sweet. Uh, card banners, which is basically like your call sign or whatever. Little emblem next to your call sign. So it's pretty much a buying system, right? You guys can pretty much find these guns out there, though. I wouldn't recommend just spending all your money unless there's really something that gets crazy. Now, obviously, some of these are green, so... There's going to be different variations. They're going to get higher with different colors. And then, of course, you can sell your stuff for scale credits, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys like the video, leave a like or maybe subscribe. I don't know. It's up to you guys. If not, then, uh, you know, maybe we'll see you next time. Um, I will be probably doing another video today just to try the PvP Ghost War because I'm pretty sure they just added that that wasn't available in the last one. Or the last beta, excuse me. So, stay tuned guys. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.